Hello everybody and welcome back. So in the last tutorial we did the mesh for these meat pieces and uh, we have them here. So now we're going to make the texture for it and we already have the shader uh, since the last tutorial here and what we did we just put a um, vector color in the base so we know it works so yeah that's um, let's see what we're gonna do so we just continue and what we're gonna do we're gonna have a simple um, noise actually we can start with the Veroni noise and we can just um, remove the vertex color for now so what do we want to do? We want to do some kind of texture to the to the meat. And if we do, just put it in like this. And uh, we need some more. Some more. Um, let's see. We need to tile this one. So if we do like this, tiling and offset. So if we do like 11, now you see we're getting these stripes. So this you can change later, of course, how much you want. And actually you could just expose it in the shader. Let's do it. So we have the, um, let's do tiling, meat, texture, tiling, like that. And we're going to do the one and 11 as a, as a default. So now we will have the same result if you look here. So that's nice. And now we just need to make some noise to this. And we, so then we get this really nice shape that we're looking for. And the way to do this, we're just going to have an add node because we want to offset this UV before it goes into the UV node. And um, if we do a simple noise and plug it in like this, this is what we're going to do. But if we have the same noise for each X and Y direction, it gets some uh, a little bit diagonal uh, offset so we're actually going to have two of these ones so we're going to do a vector two and then we make need to make sure that uh, if we just do 100 and 100 now we give the same noise to so it's the same like doing this so we need to do this to 90 otherwise it will be the same so you start to see what we're getting here and um, if we also do a multiply And we do a float here. Then we can determine how strong this is going to be. So we can make this one to be the meat texture. Uh, let's say noise. So then we just make this one 0 0.3 and we can have it as a slider. I think that's nice. So now we have it here and um, so it looks like this. So if you just put it like this, I think that's fine. So this is kind of the base and now we want to lerp between two colors so if we do a lerp 
Now we should have the same result because we're lurping between zero and one. So if we do two colors, so we're going to have color meet color one and um, meet color two. And then we make some kind of color to it. And this one gonna also have some color. So now uh, we have it. The colors might be a little bit too close to each other. So let's do this one. Um, yeah. And there is also another thing. This is very the uh, same color. So it's like we need to do a remap here. If we do this remap, we can have more contrast in our fibers. So the input is from zero to one. And um, what we want to do, if we kind of start, we, we can clamp this. So if we pull this up, you see what we're doing. And um, So by working with this, we can do much harder contrast. And now you start with starting to see what we're doing. And yeah, we're going to leave it for now. I'm just going to try out to do, let's see, the one color is really dark. See which one it is. I think it's a matter of contrast. Uh, we need to do this. Um, I'm going to try to saturate this. And satur saturate is clamping the values between 0 and 1. Okay, now you see. Now you see it uh, looks much better. And cell density, I'm going to clamp that up. So now we have 10 here, you can do more. So now you start to see, we get these uh, fibers from the... Um, fibers that we're looking for. So that's nice. And let's see, we can do... Meet texture tiling, we can do it even more. I'm gonna do it, let's try 20, see how that looks. Yeah, we can change it later, it's fine. So I can do like this, yeah, nice. So what we wanna do now, we wanna also, we did the vertex color like this. Now we're just going to do a multiply with this uh, vertex color. And that will make it feel a little bit a little bit more dirty in the middle. And we can uh, actually have a remap for that one. So we can actually change it. I'm just going to do a swizzle and just pick X. So we only work on one channel or float. So between zero and one and um, yeah, and you can always tweak it as you want here. I'm going to leave it like this. So that looks good. And um, now we can do some little bit more with um, smoothness and uh, normal. So if we just move this part a little bit like this and then we have this is the noise we have so what we want to do with this we want to work a little bit with it so if i do a remap and it's going to be from zero to one and if we plug it into smoothness now you see we can start to control the smoothness 
So before we go more with that, I want to just check everything here. The tiling. And the meat texture noise. I'm not super happy with the result. I find it a little bit too... Um... No, I think this is better. So you need to tweak this with remaps and uh, make sure you get the, kind of the gradient here better. And um, the same thing with this one. We need to work with this um, map to make it work. So here it's starting to look cool. And um, oh, we're not going to have the fade transition. So, but then, and then here, so now we clamped it. We're only reading between the value 0 0.6, 0 0.7. But we output from zero to one and one is very shiny so we're gonna pull down the shininess and i think i'm gonna have like this maybe we can actually do um smoothness smoothness one and make it a uh, slider and we're also gonna make an Moodness 2. And when we do like 2 like this and make a connect it up to a vector 2, then it's easy in, uh, in the scene view to work with these values. So I'm actually just gonna do some default value to it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, min is gonna be 0. But the default going to be 0 0.4 maybe, and the smoothness here going to be ah, 0, dot, 0 0.2. So now you see we got the smoothness, and um, I also need the normal. I'm not entirely happy with this. Yeah, let's try it. So now we do a normal. Normal from height. And then we plug this one into the normal. And we save it. So now if we go out to the scene. And we have these two smoothness variables. We can start to work with them. And then at the same time, we are also doing the normals. So this is super nice. And also, if you don't really like the colors, you can do a little bit darker. And yeah. Uh, So I think this looks pretty good. Wow, looks really meaty, doesn't it? So this is how you do a shader for procedural meat. I think it looks pretty good. So let's go through this one time more. So what we did here, we have the um, this is the Ver Veroni noise that doing the shape and we do the then we did the tiling for the Veroni and we control it here with these parameters and then we add a noise to the Veroni that makes it, it looks really nice but the very important stuff is to um, of course have two different colors but do this uh, remap part with the smoothness and normal so we have this um, result. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. In the next tutorial, 
I'm gonna make this splash so we have a really nice blood splash under and I'm gonna show you now how it looks I'm gonna drag it in on this one nah I'm gonna skip it I'm gonna do it in the next tutorial so see you in the next one thank you so much for watching